Mark Rogers, TV, back with you, rating all the schedules across Power 5 college football, including BYU and Notre Dame. So we're starting with the ACC. So to break this down, we're going conference by conference, rating them one through whatever, 10, 12, or 14 in the ACC. Of course, 14 teams, seven in each division. So our first criteria here is division play in which the ACC is a bit lopsided there. Florida State, Clemson, and Louisville in one division. That's a much tougher division then Georgia Tech, and then a number of fairly marginal teams that could win anywhere from six to eight games with Duke, Pitt, Virginia Tech, North Carolina, etc. So for Wake Forest, they have what we consider to be the seventh best schedule in the ACC. We broke a tie between Wake Forest and Boston College because their schedules are basically identical because Wake has one more difficult relatively speaking, difficult non-conference game in taking on Indiana at home. Hey, we know it's the Hoosiers, and they finished last in the Big Ten East. They did beat Mizzou, and they are a Power 5 team, as opposed to Boston College that takes on nobody except Notre Dame. So Wake also has the date against Notre Dame, but they've got a date as well against Indiana. So Wake plays in the tougher of the two divisions, of course, with Florida State, Clemson, and Louisville, and Out of division, they've got two fairly good opponents here, North Carolina and Duke. Tar Heels on the road. They've got Duke at home to finish off 2015. That finishes off a really difficult stretch for Wake in taking on North Carolina State, Louisville, Notre Dame, Clemson, and Duke. Again, NC State, Louisville, at Notre Dame, at Clemson, and Duke. Wake is going to have to win some games early to have any shot of going bowling in 2015. So it's the seventh best schedule, toughest schedule in the ACC, according to Mark Rogers TV. Would love to hear what you have to say on Wake and ACC scheduling.